welcome and now basically what are quarks according to this video now I'm going to explain you the quarks so here the first question arises what are actually quarks logically we have the most relevant or easiest formula the quarks form the ever smallest particles predicted by humans having the size of a uh, whooping 10 power minus 19 meters yes guys the quarks are the very smallest the smallest particles ever discovered or i cannot say discovered it is actually predicted by human beings they are the smallest predicted particles you can see the size the size of 10 power minus 19 meters and that's really very small and I must say that they don't have a specific shape or a specific size but they do have some categories which we are gonna study right now so you can say these are the quarks you can say the names I don't know who the child kept the names of these quarks but quite weird names right it's up quark down quark strange quark charm quark top quark and bottom quark these are the names of quarks, yes, it may sound strange, but these are names. Up, down, strange, charm, top, bottom. We are gonna study about these, these charges, right now. So, you can so we are talking about the quarks, right? So first let's come to the up quark. Don't think it's up, it's a quark's name, an up quark having the charge of q equals to plus 2 by 3 times e you know what's e all right i know i know you know and if you don't know then e equals to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs is the basic value of e and the up quark is we can say present in protons and neutrons these quarks are present in the protons and neutrons and now about our next quarks that is down quarks down quarks having charge q equals to minus of 1 by 3 times e that is 1.6 upon 3 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs and they are also present in protons and neutrons i'm giving the most basic information because i don't want to go quite advanced so these are the very basic facts about these things about their charges and all that stuff now about our next quark now we have the strange quark here its name is strange having the charge of q equals to minus of one by three times e all knows what's the value of E right now and it consists or we can say it forms hadrons hadrons is a very advanced method or technique I'll talk about the hadron collider in my another video but right now simply understand the strange core consists of or it forms hadrons or it consists of hydrons, you can say anything. And now about our next quark, that is, we can say, top. Top quark having the charge of Q equals to plus 2 by 3 times E. You know what's the value of E. And it also forms hadrons. Hadrons, the basic Big Bang Theory, Hadron has a very integral part of the Big Bang Theory in the Big Bang Theory. So, not that serial dudes. Big Bang Theory, the method of the Big Bang due to which the universe formed. So, uh, now we have our next quark that is the bottom quark. Bottom quark has the charge of minus of 1 by 3 times E and is the you can say most massive quark so these are the quarks you can say up down charm strange top bottom their specification their charges and now yeah I want to show you uh, quite an interesting photo I don't think it's 
uh, less useful, yes. I hope it will help you somewhat in understanding protons and neutrons. So let's see. Yeah, this photo you can see the protons and the neutrons. The protons you can say consist of two up quarks and one down quarks as you can see here. And that's why since up quark has charge of plus 2 by 3 and down quark has minus 1 by 3 plus has more so we can say proton is positive that's why. And now in the its next you can see the down quark which consists of uh, we can, sorry neutrons which consists of actually two down quarks and one up quark two down quarks and one up quarks two down quarks one down quark has charge of minus one by three so two down quarks would have the charge of minus of two by three then that's why it cancels the charge of up quark and thus neutron is neutral so i hope it was quite interesting let's move on yeah this felt guys this was all for quarks hope you liked the video we covered one fundamental particle one uh, one we can say one part of fundamental particle hope you like the video if you like then please do like and subscribe my channel and of course thank you for watching